Έναν εξάδελφο και Τι νοσησή πήγε. Βάσατο το δάνεισμα επί δεύτερον και εμέρον. Here, I have the antidote. More wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I fought all sorts of people. And they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there.
Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how she does against our reigning champion, Voryavs! I'll squash you like a bug. You'll have to try harder if you want to live. <laughs> Victory! Nikkei! The gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory! Cassandra, please. If these fools break the truce... Thief! You're on to talk, you double-dealing dog! Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on... This dishonorable girl stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Irodotos, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Ionian would steal! I said, Irodotos. Uh, yes. It, it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there's been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere, while Lelech is from Ionian stock, a grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double-dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then, they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed.
Did you see anything? No, nope. Not nothing. Far less than anything. So you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, eh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. It's all right if you ran. Fear can change a man. I wasn't afraid. I was asleep. Oh, I, I mean... I won't tell. But did you see anything? No. Except... Yes? Some torches. Heading east. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. These crypts have been opened. There's no sign of forced entry. Hmm. A note. Take all that you can carry and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. I've heard talks of ruins outside the city. And from what the guard said, the torches were heading in that direction. So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. Who are you, exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress! Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without the both of you. I will destroy <laughs> you!
I didn't want it to come to this. But now we can forge a new future for our two families. One built on love. I wish you luck with that. Off we go now. Dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them. Disguised as a man, no less. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much... temptation. And why is any... For a married woman... Who are you? Kalipatira, I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies! She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled. ...to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Kalipatira. I've seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man, is there? 
Yes, yes, there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man? Thank you. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatera has an admirer. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother told me you're competing in the Olympics. Just like my grandfather, the great Diagoras himself. That's good to know, but I need more. The priestess of Dimitra has accused your mother of sacrilege. Is she all right? What happened? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had a right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. <laughs> the poem The Agoras of Rhodes. Dedicated by Pindarus himself. To Kay. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankration champions. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. today to carry out the will of the gods, to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes. Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. 
and thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Come on. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of rugby for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You'd attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Peter Koz. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. What if I recited a poem? One of Pindaros's, you know, to inspire him to greatness. Look, um, Pitekos is good, but uh, he's not really that kind of athlete. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi.
I'll see what's wrong with Pythagos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pythagos, Aleti sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My lucky javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. When you say lucky, you mean special. As in, made to give you an advantage. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. This looks like it'll work. You sell javelins? Of course! Lucky you, I still have some left. With the games on, they sell out fast. But are they any good? The best! Fly fast and true, rest assured. But they'll cost you. I'll take one. Thank you! And may it fly far! I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here. Take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing! Light, easy to handle, and most importantly, looks just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nike, my friend. I should find a lettuce. Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy, then? You can never have enough drachmi. This will be an easy bounty. Oh, that's a lot of drachmi. The event's tomorrow. Make sure you're on time. Where were you? You missed everything! Look at this. What a magnificent throw! I'm glad I could help. Now, Aletis, for my winnings? Of course! It was a good day. We all profit. May your good fortune continue.
Hey, Mr. Osh, would you like to learn about your future? Thank you. I would like to know what the fates have planned for me. You would? Yes, of course you would. Everyone wants their future told by the great Uzo. Well, what is it? I see great things. Like what? You know, things. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Tell your friends. What is it with the Olympics? Everyone's out to make Drachmi. Palaka, my Drachmi! Hey, stop! Thief! Hey, thief! Looks like Phoebe. And as nimble a thief. I have to find her. Just like Phoebe. <laughs> you led me on a good chase, but I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drachmi. Give it back. Here, please, don't hurt me. They made me do it. I didn't want to. Honest. <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. But the captain will. Captain? Yeah, it's him that makes us do this. Us? The other street kids. Why is he making you steal? For the drachmi, stupid. You should be more polite to adults. Why? What have adults done for me? Fair enough. Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. Should be extra careful in this area. Ah! 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 Ah!
This must be Maya's necklace. Our luck I kept it on him. I should return to Maya. I got something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! What happened to Alopex? You know, the guy who distracted you while I nabbed your purse? I spared him. He's promised to help you and the others. Good, I always liked him. He used to share his food with us and stand up for us when the Athenian got mad. You'll do fine. Take care. Thanks for saving us from the Athenian. Now we get to keep everything we steal.
Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. Who's after you? The Cult of Cosmos. Remember Athens? They never stopped hunting me, Cassandra. Why would they be after you now? They want me dead. Moving me here has only bought a little more time. I need your help. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. What's so special about a stick? It's not just any stick. The skitali is used by the Spartans to send coded messages. Okay, so let's talk about your stick. Skitali! All right, Skitali. I need to get the code. Then I'll show you how it works. What did the message say? Look to your art. The King of Gods has a message to impart. Fantastic. That's not a message. It's barely passable as a riddle. It's obvious. The King of Gods. Zeus? Yes. And what am I? There's so many answers to that, but... I suppose you're a sculptor. Exactly! So, where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. This must be what Phidias was looking for. Phidias is paranoid. But maybe it's not all in his mind. Unbelievable craftsmanship. Much better than the statue in Kefalonia. I should get back to Phidias so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. 
Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there'll be a clue? Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. What's in Thassos? Ah, a controversial statue indeed. It can only be the one of Theagenes from this northern isle. Theagenes? The Olympic hero. It's even rumored that Heracles himself was his father. He was exquisitely immortalized by the sculptor Glaucis of Aegina. What statue should I be looking for in Kithira? Oh, what an island. The birthplace of the goddess of love. How I wish I could go with you. It is a fitting place then to look for Aphrodite. Exactly. The island lies at the southeastern tip of the Peloponnese. You will find what we seek at Aphrodite's feet. What statue should I seek in Samos? Well, it's not exactly Samos or Lesbos, but a small island nestled between. In the bosom of the ocean, one might say. Stick to the statue. What is it? Why, Poseidon, of course. It is as if you are watching the god himself holding back the waves. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry. I will.
Ready the oars! Nice to have you back, Commander. Can make him an offering, all right. What? <laughs> Next time, let's get a go. I've never seen such a monster. This beast isn't even native to these lands.
Jupiter has truly captured the beauty of Aphrodite. What's all this about? It's about adventure, thrills, danger, and untold fortunes. Danger. <laughs> I never back down from a challenge. Then step right up and put your drachmi where your mouth is. For this kind of opportunity doesn't come around every day. Tell me more. Secrecy is key, Mystios. We can't just have anyone knowing there's a fortune to be found. But first, everything has a price. Pay up, and I'll give you a tablet with everything you need to know. Here you go. Excellent. Here you go. This tablet will lead you directly to untold riches. What? Just tell me where... The tablet reveals all. What does that even mean? Just look at the tablet and follow the directions, Mystios. My work here is done. Off the east coast of Kithira, on Veakofti Island, your reward awaits. Down on your luck? Have I got a solution for you? Yeah!
Empty? I'm going to snap that man's neck in two.
going on? The chest was empty. Inconceivable. Maybe you don't know how to read a tablet? I guarantee you there's something inside. How can you be so sure? Because I'm the one who put it there. Uh, I mean, Malaka. No, no, no! Devronexo! The police can lead us all to meet us. What seems to be the problem? And may the Glis be praised, and Mystios. I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich. His god is a Malaka, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. These priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. He doesn't sound like much of a god to me. How could you? You can't keep a god bound. And anyone who tried would die in the attempt. Empedocles is not that kind of god. He is no god at all. Your words are an affront to the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mystios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guard stripped him naked. <laughs> and when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis' godly nature will be hard to deny. His gift? Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Embedocles will be freed. Do not worry for life! He's over there. I 
should be careful. High security here. Let this woman escape. Cubans. I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Worship me. And I offer you an audience with the gods. Yes. over there.
together. I'll check this out. I'll find what that was. <laughs> No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me, and I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! I saw Embedocles risk his greatest treasure, running naked through a military camp and showed no fear. There is clearly something special about this man. You've made no friends today. Who needs friends when I have the gods? Thank you for your support, Mystios. In the future, my Empedoclitis could use someone with your talents. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mystios. 
something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Empedocles? As any sibling, love him. Filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm, worth it. Gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. Found him. Purple dye might stink like rotten dog guts, but I'll be fucked if it doesn't make me look like a god. Confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mystios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you. Ares demands your audience. That's a big promise. You doubt me? I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded, as will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. Ah. 